Ah, hello everyone. It's Ian from Cromford Collector's Corner. I'm here this morning uh, to show you something on the wall of pleasure uh, and to tell you that it's Sunday and it's a bright sunny day here in Cromford, um, which is lovely. And um, yeah, also tomorrow is bank holiday Monday um, and um, I've sort of been waiting to see what the weather's going to be like. So it's given okay here. So I will be open on bank holiday Monday, 11 till 4, uh, 11 till 3.30. Um, yeah, so that's lovely if you can make it down. Um, I'm going to pick something to talk about this morning um, that I'm not a massive expert on this. Um, like anything, you know, I do my research and whatever. So um, I'll try and be as fact specific as I can about this. But I'm sure there are people out there that are a lot better informed than I am. Um, but um, I thought they were interesting and uh, hopefully it'll be interesting to you, particularly if you've not seen this sort of stuff before, if you're not from the UK particularly. Um, so what I've got on the wall here is um, a series of Marvel Digest um, series publications. Uh, and these were produced by Marvel UK in 1980-1981. Uh, and they were one of the last things, I believe, that uh, Des Skin, the editor of Marvel UK, um, did uh, it, before he left the company. Um, and they're really interesting. So basically what they are is they are um, very small, um, 50... 52 page including the covers um reprints of classic marvel comics um and there was a whole series of these it didn't last very long um and th th there was some very clever sort of attempts at publishing things and trying to make things profitable because it wasn't a hugely profitable business to some extent i think i might be wrong um, but i know that there was reconstructions of pages to try and fit more in um, and get more out of it. Um, so, so these, were interestingly, are the same amount of pages as in were the, as were in the standard Marvel UK publications. But they, um, with the extra fold, it created uh, loads more pages, and they could fit more in. Um, so these are quite cool. Uh, I, I think, um, not hugely valuable, but I think interesting. Um, so we'll have a look at just a few copies of this that I've got. Um, we'll start with this. Uh, I've got a couple of issues of Conan. Um, and Conan was one of the titles that didn't last an enormous amount of time. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is um, the only one that's sort of worth more than a fiver, really. Um, this is uh, Conan the Barbarian number 10, and it's uh, worth a lot, little bit more because it reprints the first appearance of Red Sonja in Conan. Obviously, they have redone kind of covers. Anyway, yeah, so that's Conan number 10. This one is Conan number 12. Um, and this one isn't uh, particularly valuable, but it's cool. So I've put... Uh, that first one was £8. This one is £4. It's 1980. Um, so I believe originally there were four of these titles, um, but eventually the um, all of them uh, were Spider-Man, uh, Fantastic Four, Hulk... Titans, um, Marvel Classics, Conan, Chiller, Star Heroes, and Young Romance, um, which published 50s and 60s reprints um, of kind of romance stuff. Anyway, so that's uh, Conan number 12, four pounds. This is a nice one. And these are really quite nice condition, by the way. Um, they're not uh, completely knackered or anything. They're, they're quite cool. Um, this is Spider-Man number... 23, which again, redrawn cover, but obviously, first appearance of Rhino, guys. These are black and white reprints. I mean, first appearance of Rhino, six quid. I'm not sure if that's 1980 or 1981. Probably 1981. Um, and the next two are issues of X-Men, uh, and they are sequential issues. It's issues 17 and 18. Uh, and obviously, we've got some classic Sentinel action here. So the ones that didn't last very long of these, um, ironically, uh, or surprisingly perhaps, uh, Hulk was cancelled after 13 issues, as was Conan, as was Titans, as was Young Romance. Um, this one, X-Men, was actually a retitled uh, The Star Heroes one, which I think after issue 12, maybe, becomes X-Men. Um, yeah. X-Men. 1981. I put £5 on it. And then this last one, as I said, is number 18. So again, the following on issue. Wicked. 
Again, I'll put five pounds on that. Really cool. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. As I say, I am open today. Um, uh, it's Sunday. It's sunny in Comfort and very nice. Um, and I'll be open tomorrow. And then next week, I'll start to get my head into a couple of different things, um, preparing what will be the next CCCAP um, Cromford Collector's Corner auction page uh, sale, which will be going at the end of May. Uh, well, sort of last 10 days of May, something like that. Um, so I'm currently preparing... Hopefully I'll try and get about 50 lots of stuff on there, as I've done previously. Um, so yeah, drop me a line if there's anything you want to know about that. Um, I'm aware that obviously on YouTube you might not know my Facebook stuff. Um, but if you do, then do check that out. Uh, obviously I'll keep you all informed um, as to how that's going. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. And uh, you all take care, okay? See you later. Bye.